very often here on the Cow Calf Corner, we visit with you about the importance of body condition, body condition scores at uh, different times of the production year for cows in your herd. So I thought today we ought to just take time to review what we mean by differences in body condition and body condition scores. You see researchers and ranchers alike use a scoring system to evaluate the fatness of uh, range beef cows. Uh, we have a one through nine system, one being the most thin, emaciated cow you could possibly imagine. She's nothing but skin and bones. On the other end of the scale is the nine, the most obese, overfat, wasty fat cow that you could possibly imagine. So you got those uh, very, very uh, different extremes. Where all the action is, where it's important for us to understand, is in those middle three scores of a four, a five, and a six. That's where the real differences are. That's where most of the cattle, as you see uh, driving up and down the roads of Oklahoma, that's uh, the scores that they'll be in. So let's take a look at a four cow that is uh, looking like she's just a little bit too thin thinner than we'd like her to be at calving time. Certainly not an unhealthy cow by any stretch of the imagination, but just not carrying as much adipose tissue. As we go to a five, now in the case of mature cows, if every cow looked like that in the springtime at calving time, we'd be in pretty good shape. We might see the outline of the last couple of ribs, uh, but she looks smooth across the edge of the loin, over the hip bone. And then we go to the six. That's a cow, in this case we've got a picture of a young two-year-old heifer that looks smooth all over and that's because there's just enough fat tissue between the skeletal structure and the hide to where uh, we don't see the, the sharp differences. We can't see the outline of the rib cage. Along the edge of the loin it's smooth and rounded because there's some fat tissue between the hide and the bone. Why this is important is because the body condition at calving time determines how well they're going to rebreed in the upcoming defined 60 to 90 day breeding season. As you look at this graphic, you see kind of the average of a lot of research that's been done through the years as to the percent of these cows that rebred during the upcoming breeding season depending upon their body condition at calving time. So if they were a little too thin or body condition score four, only about 60% of them actually conceived during the upcoming breeding season, over 80% in the case of the fives, and then 90 some percent, uh, those cows that were in that body condition score six, actually conceived during the upcoming breeding season. The reason that those are different is because the difference in the number of days between when she calves and when she comes back into estrus cycles to have a chance to recycle and rebreed for the upcoming calf crop. For instance, those cows that are in body condition score four are going to take a lot longer to come back into heat. And they may have only one, perhaps two chances in a 60 to 90 day breeding season to uh, actually conceive. The cows that were in that good body condition of a six at calving time, they're already cycling by the time the breeding season rolls around and they may have three or four chances to actually conceive during that upcoming breeding season. That's why you see the difference in the rebreeding percentages. So I think it's important that we understand what these differences in body condition score mean so that you can plan your winter feeding program if you have a spring calving herd to make sure that mature cows are at least in that body condition score five at the time of calving We'd like to hold them at that condition into and through the breeding season. The case of the fall calving cows, most of those, if we have a good summer like we had this year, are already in that good body condition of at least a five, a lot of them are in sixes at the time of calving, and they're going to recycle on time to rebreed for next year's calf crop. We thought this review would help you as you go through this winter season and understand what's happening in your beef herd. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.